Welcome back. It's Thursday evening, about 6.30, 6.45, July the 8th. We're going, tonight we're going to try to get the uh, crankcase vents plumbed and the wastegates plumbed. My buddy Chris is going to come over maybe later and uh, help me figure out the wastegate deal. Breather tank. Well, we got it mounted. Let's turn the light on in here. You can see it mounted right there. It's up inside the wheel well. Yeah, it's a little difficult to get to, but it's not something I should have to get to very often. And there's a drain that'll go in here that we can open and close with our fingers. Two number two port, or number 10 ports, hoses. We're gonna come off of here, go up through there. And the game plan is, always gotta have a game plan. Nine times out of 10, it doesn't ever work, but the game plan is the hoses will come over. One is gonna come up here, come up here, gotta get back here. To this deal and if you remember last night I showed you this little fitting here it's a two-piece deal it comes see if we can do this by hand one-handed let's see here so this is what would actually goes in the valve cover takes the place of this so what we're going to do is take that out that comes out like so then I have one already bolted together screwed together lubed up the o-ring with some oil and it's going to tighten down in there like so so we'll come over with one hose up to here going to put a 90 on that one we have that let's see how this is going to work should clear the see how that's going to look and then there'll be another one run right parallel to it and go across the back of the car engine compartment over to that rear of that valve cover so I'm going to mock up that other hose over to that side with the straight fitting. And then I guess I'll be ordering some more fittings for that puke tank. You can see it down in there. It's not going to be super easy to get to, but how often are you going to really need to get to it? It's not like I'm going to be running it up and down the drag strip. And another thing I think I told you all we got to do is replace the alternator charge wire show y'all how this is going to turn out. I need to make this GoPro camera where it has a magnetic base to it also. So you can see right there the plan is is to run them like that. Split one off to come to the passenger side and the other one's going to come over here across the back of the motor and come into this area here. So I'm not going to cut this one to length at all. I'm just going to coil it back up and set it aside. And then um, we'll figure out something else to do right quick. Somewhere right in here, like so. And then the overflow tank will go right down in there off of that now we will have to build a longer make a longer bracket for the bottom one just because of the offset of the uh, core support so I'm gonna start working on that right quick kind of get an idea of where that's gonna go put some masking tape down there get the holes marked get those drilled and uh, <clears throat> we'll be back in just a second I'm gonna go get a different mount for this light and stick it up here so, 
What do I got left to do? Yeah. What are you trying to do tonight? I'm just, <laughs> you're stuck now. You're stuck because you uh, don't have the right fitting, right? Well, I got a. Uh, you got zip ties, right? I got the. Uh, oh, I got thing. I got all kinds of zip ties. I can finish my steam line. I got the stuff to do from here. I'm going to come up to this one, and then I'm going to put a T in it here, and then come over to my radiator, or yeah. come down into the back of the water pump. So you haven't figured out yet still what you're going to do with your wastegate lines? Well, it's. Kind of what I was thinking you were coming over to help oh. me figure out. Like I said, you got zip ties and duct tape. Well, I mean, you've seen our fabrication. It's one of those things. Does this have to be Saxon Raw Trump for you, or can it be six pounds for you? It's just got to get done. He <laughs> just got to get done before he gets on the uh, August. Well, can't you? Uh... You can make that, That's what they look like, guys, because I don't know if you could see them earlier. That's Joey, Chris. And Joey drove his badass looking 56. We'll go out and take a look at it here in a second. Oh, got the air filters, huh? I, I saw that. that. So, That's good. I like how you drilled through there and got it through there. Yeah. So, well, uh, they're giving me a hard time about my car. I'm sure y'all heard all got that. your street car. It is a street car. It's got tags on it. Wipers even. I'm going to bring a Chevy it's got, here hey, it's got, street car. It's got four speed. <laughs> Four or five speed position wipers. I don't have a bolt in front end on my car. I don't either. No, but you got a full car. cage. You That's got a full true. cage. This don't even have a cage. Yeah. It's not getting a cage. <laughs> Y'all can't see him weak behind the camera, guys. <laughs> it's not going to get a cage. You the V6 badges on them? Yes. No, that's the six-cylinder badges. That's what I'm saying. Little yeah. badges. Well, my smart-ass employees at the shop, when I first got it running, he put six point... Or you got a little zero there? Yeah, it was on this side. It was, oh, six plus two on one side. And the other side said uh, six... I forgot what it said. They're faded now. That's a little stickers. I didn't notice it till I got to Austin to the Roundup. Nice. <laughs> Yeah. So. Oh, man. What are you going to start on? Food? <laughs> I didn't eat last night till I got home oh, after 10 o'clock. We beat our heads together on that freaking boost controller. Holy crap. I got it going, though. Uh, what, you did? Yeah, we finally got it going. What was it? We don't know. Well, we did. It, <laughs> it had to be something simple then. No, All right, so it was something simple. Reading directions. Oh, if all else fails, well, the pull out the piece of paper. Yeah, the manufacturer <laughs> suggests a way to do things, which we never do. Yeah, we just had a couple of, we had to flip the pins, and we had to activate a certain thing, but we couldn't find it. Right. If you didn't well, know we, it we, we couldn't find the dome. We couldn't find the dome pressure sensor, which it was kind of hidden, and then we couldn't find, well, we did find in the pin map, but it was a ground, and so we actually had to go back and change that and to put it into a 12 volt trans brake line <clears throat> and so we so, and that was the timer for the boost control so then we we got it to a 12 volt signal and and it was just pinned in the computer and then we just attached that to the pin map where it needed to go and that gave us our start and it i mean it goes through its progressions and it builds boost like it's it's working it's, yeah it makes a lot of noise so we're going racing soon so no now i gotta get mine i'll get this one and street drive it out there to come see you Driving out there I'll foot. follow behind y'all while y'all are on the trailers. All right. I would trailer my car. With the AC the blowing my hair. <laughs> hey, these loose. Yeah, but, well, the front end hadn't been aligned yet. That's a good excuse. Oh, man. So, anyway. You saw how I was doing it? Huh? You saw how I was doing it? They were giving me this hard time about the... This is street car stuff. It's got A-arms on it. No struts. Air conditioner. Air conditioner. Power steering. Power brakes. Patina seat. Patina. <laughs> patina seat. Don't show this magic stuff here on the, on the ground over here. Uh, yeah. So anyway. Anyway, Joey drove his car. We're going to go out here and take a look at the... What's he called? Gold digger? Gold yeah. digger. Got to watch what you say. <laughs> Y'all check this thing out. 56 Chevy, hard top. He just got it back from a uh, paint shop. Who painted it? Kevin Dickerson over at uh, Dick's Rod Shop. 
in uh, Garland, right? In Garland. Yeah. yeah. So check out this uh, street race car. We'll call it that. A street car. Got the fiberglass front pan on it. Lift off hood. Sets really good. It's got a the whole car is pearl or just the light no, color? No, just, the, just the, the light color. It's metallic on the gold, but yeah, this is all white pearl in the back. Street car. That's in case the brakes fail. That's his, well, that's, for looks. That's his parking brake. It's for looks. It's kind of like the PVC uh, roll cage pipe. Yeah. yeah. It'll have a back seat. Factory back seat, right? It'll have a factory back yeah. seat in it. Have it Can in I open it. the door? Yep. It'll he's have uh, door panels in it. He's thrashing on this to get it ready for the Tri Five Nationals, right? Correct. In Bowling Green. Yeah. And that's what the uh, second Let week. It, yeah. Uh, second August week of August. Yeah. The week before I go to uh, the Power Tour. Mm -hmm. So doing stuff I don't like to do. So putting dents in the trim. Just. Well, nobody likes doing that either, but it's kind of like me and my fittings that don't work. Uh, pop the trunk. Can you do that? Yeah. You got to get around a streetcar stuff. Parachute. <laughs> that's my backup camera. The parachute. It's air brakes. Air brakes. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. It ain't very clean back here. I just want to show them all the rear sway bar work. Beautiful work. Now what's this tank here for? Just the extra gas in case you need it? Well, it's the same thing that's on your car. The water well, mine's not injection. on yet. It's an auto fill tank. Auto fill tank. <laughs> it's a windshield washer fluid. Let's look in here. So this is for the windshield washers. It's got a pump and it sprays. Right. I think I'm supposed to go in here and get some of this stuff for what? B roll? What do they call it? B roll? B roll. B roll. Just move the camera slow across it. My wiring. Oh, yeah. That I like to do. Well, you know, if you'd hurry up and get the rest of it done, you could get back to doing what you like. Oh, look, he's got drumsticks. He's a drummer. That's my show sticks to lead the hood up. Show sticks? Yeah, it's a show car. It's a, it's a show, show car? car. It's a show car. <laughs> yeah, it's a daily driver. I got my backpack to go to school in. It'll have a, a passenger seat in it. I don't see any AC vents though. Oh look, wait a minute, wait a minute, AC. wait a minute. Look at this uh, street car dash that you have in it here. Yeah, classic instruments and... Uh, oh, wait a minute, all these street car controls, they can't go in the dash like a regular street car. They have to go up here. Hang on a minute, sir. Let me show you something. You can only turn the car on with a key. <laughs> Look at that. That's the only way it still comes on is with the key. Right. Oh, it's it's gonna be it's always been a nice car. Got LED dash lights under it. Who put the cage in it for you? Josh at 2J and Pat. Guys pretty much <clears throat> built the motor and one of these days when we're we'll get around this car when he can take the hood off of it. Oh, we can do it now. Can get on the other side. Oh, we can pop the hood. Yeah. Can you? Yeah, yeah, then yeah. while you're here. He likes popping the hood. Oh wait a minute! He can put his show his show sticks on it. He's got these uh quick latch deals. That are not quick. Well, I need to adjust that one up here. I uh, would just hang on to it. Yeah, to I'm just gonna look. While you're uh, standing there holding your hood, tell me a little bit about the motor. Uh, it's a 388 cubic inch uh, motor. It is made for a lot of boost. So, now, what what kind of boost are you planning on running to start with? Uh, it's probably gonna have about 20, 25 pounds on it to start off with. Oh, well, it's got a specifics. It is a street car. It's got an alternator. It does have an alternator, sir. Yes, sir. Those are dual air compressors too. Yeah, the, you know what? They have their own exhaust. Those uh, 
that one right there is probably bigger bigger than my two together. Now, what's the sensor here on the wastegate? That is the dome pressure. The okay, it's just a because you got all that. Because the, the boost controllers are right there on that <coughs> uh, little thing made up right there. That Holly deal? Yeah. That's the, that's the uh, boost controller. I still got to get some turbo bags. And you can see that's one dash ten on the uh, overflow tank. See how I've got mine? Yeah, yours just has the one big one. So, and you got those streetcar valve covers. I like those. Yeah. Okay. Stick that back on there. I know you got to hear it run. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know y'all were coming when you were, so I, I didn't. I would have. Key out to turn the key on to start it. To turn the key on. So why didn't you drive sunshine? I need an exhaust built for somebody. Oh. Yeah. So that's Gold Digger right. on six snails. Mm -hmm. Joey. Chris. That's Sunshine. Sunshine. 63 yeah. Chevy can't you Can't you just see him smiling, Sunshine? <laughs> sunshine. So uh, sunshine. we're going to call it a quick night for a little bit and go get something to eat.